Welcome to King Says So, a channel that advocates for one Africa, one land, one Africa, one language, one Africa, one currency, one Africa, one army. I wish to witness Africans all around the world united as one in our lifetime. Enjoy. Mangwana and my Zimbabwean people, hope you are well. It's your boy King053, Mr. Easy Imali Enengi Nengi, and we're back at it again with another one. And this time around, we are waiting uh, with bated breath for the announcement of Nelson Chamisa winning the, the 2023 Zimbabwe national elections and um, being declared as the president of Zimbabwe. We have seen many things unfolding uh, in this wait that we we are having uh, the press conference of of a triple c being disturbed by i don't know what do we call these people in the, in, uh, uh, investigators of the government coming there with a court order the police have came out with a, co a court order saying they wanted to arrest um, the spokesperson of triple c for for some crime that he created uh, that he committed uh, a, a contempt of court in 2019 or something like that in 2018 we are in 2023 why do we have to wait for this time for them to to do something like this is crazy and we have seen with the uh, results that was slowly trickling uh, trickling in that um triple c was leading in most of them in the metros actually and you can see with the results when you when you're reading that listen it looks like the numbers are favoring um triple c and nelson chamisa and i told you guys i said the problem with uh, for those who don't know how elections work they are observers in 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 the um, in the counting rooms you have your party observers you've got your sadic observers and you've got your international and the au who are sitting there and observing people counting, observing people counting. The, after, the, after the count is done, uh, what do they call this document? Uh, I think C11 document or something like that. Correct me on the comment section. After that is done, the parties will sign, uh, will sign the count out to say, okay, we as the party, we've been sitting here, we've been observing these people counting, and it looks like Yes, we got 10 votes. Zano PF got 13 votes, and that party got this much less sign over. This is for members in parliament. Now, for the overwhelming um, number that we are looking for, actually, the presidential race, it looks like Nelson Chamisa is leading. Because, you know, they tried to, uh, uh, Zano PF tried to fight by all means, and um, uh, Zach tried by all means to do tricks to make sure that um, they don't get any advantage, you know? But it looks like when they are sitting down and, and counting, because they were supposed to announce at five. I was supposed to do this video at five, ladies and gentlemen. And this is what, seven hours later, they haven't announced this because the numbers are not speaking the language that they want. We are waiting to hear what is going to, I'm not gonna sleep. I'm not, I'm not sleeping today. I want to hear, who won the, uh, the, the elections because there's a follow-up video I want to do in speaking to my fellow Zimbabwean people. From South Africa, we love you Zimbabweans. We want all the best for your country because the best for your country is the best for us. The borders were given to us by our colonizers. We are brothers and sisters. You find the Bele people and uh, Shona people in South Africa, in, in Zimbabwe, we are one people. We are one people. I don't believe, I don't believe of this division of of um of african people especially my black african people when i see a black african brother wherever they come from wherever they come from we are family especially especially zimbabweans you know we've got uh, um i would say a love and hate type of a situation with us south africans and zimbabweans with many south africans still not understanding pan-africanism oneness and everything so there's that thing of treating Zimbabweans as low-class people because we know that in their country they, they came to South Africa for a better life, so to say, you know, 
and um, the economic situation does not allow them to strive actually in Zimbabwe. So most of them will come with, with a higher education and come and do pitiful job that you know shows the humbleness of those people in Zimbabwe coming here doing small business and doing all of those things just to make sure that they put food on the table and most of them I know are sending money back home you know and uh, it, it's that type of a situation that us in the SADC of Africa uh, we, we, we should unite and make sure that the other countries is flowing nicely with, with, with each other so that uh, when one does uh, better, then it helps the other country. And South Africa being the Dubai of, 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 of uh, SADC, um, it, it is important that our neighbor countries do very well so that we can all celebrate with Zimbabwe. I know everyone is watching. Everyone wants to know what is it that is going to happen. And, um, and King, do you believe actually these people, if Nelson Chamisa is winning on the ballot paper in terms of the count, the people voted for them, will it, will it really uh, trans? Is the is Zach going to really say uh, come out and, and announce Nelson Chamisa? Guys, the probability of that is very low. I heard on one of uh, as we are waiting uh, for for this announcement, one of the people said it's like waiting for an HIV <laughs> result, and I know that feeling. You know, you 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 don't know what to expect. You're questioning yourself, and in this questioning ourselves uh, as as African people in this moment, I I have to remind you that we are dealing with heartless people. We're dealing with heartless people. And I, I really want to do the follow-up uh, 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 video after the announcement is done. I couldn't wait. I've, I've been waiting for so long. Couldn't wait anymore. Decided to do this one quickly. So after the announcement, please come back to the channel. Come back to the channel and come and hear my reaction. It's going to be a very important message that I'm going to send to um, Zimbabwean brothers and sisters. Be it that... Um, Triple C wins or Zanu PF wins. I've got a message for my Zimbabwean brothers and sisters. As a pan Africanist, in terms of the suggestions that I'll be giving Zimbabweans going forward, if if the government that is ruling is not in our favor, what should we do? If we get a new government, what is it that is expected from the people? What is it that we must do as the people to change? Because like it or not, things are not going to change overnight, whether either party wins. So we have to be honest with ourselves, have to be strategic, and have to make sure that we use our mind in bettering Zimbabwe. Because Zimbabwe is a beautiful country. How many minerals are in Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe can, I, say, I said it before, Zimbabwe can be a powerhouse of SADC if they did not have these say, stupid sanctions over them. But because we African countries are not united, we, 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 we should have sanctions against countries that have sanctions against countries in Africa. That is how we will unite and beat the sanctions because the sanctions are, are of Zimbabwe are, are uh, directly impacting on the neighbor countries. So we should be speaking to America and the UK, whoever has got sanction to say, listen, if you're going to keep these sanctions against Zimbabwe, we are not going to, we are not going to do trade with you. But because everyone likes the money, we find ourselves standing aside because it's not happening to me, it's happening to him, then I leave it. But anyway, I don't want to talk too much, guys. I was just doing a smaller, smaller Nyana clip to say, guys, I'm ready for the announcement. I'm waiting you know, like every Zimbabwean, I feel like today I'm, I'm a Zimbabwean because we are all Africans. I feel like I, I, I feel the pain of Zimbabweans waiting to hear if Zano PF has won, um, uh, Nelson Chamisa has won, or Mnangagwa is going to retain his seat. Until next time, guys, please come back. And my Zimbabwean brothers, thank you so much for clicking the like. On the comment sections, you guys are going crazy. I love it. And please subscribe also. Make sure that you support your boy King053, Mr. Easy Imale Nengini. And as always, don't forget to pray. And let's meet next time. And I salute you. At White Knot Technologies, we specialize in bags, embroidery, branded wear, and screen printing. We provide the finest quality for affordable price and fast turnaround time. We make sure you'll be satisfied with your order. 
visit us at 18 Fisher Avenue, Epping. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the content, leave your thoughts on the comment section and hit the like and subscribe button and we will meet on the next one.